So in this video, we're going to show you how to create a dynamic grid layout where we can control the rows and the columns of the board. So here we have our Canva setup uh, where we're setting the render mode to, to screen space camera and assigning our main camera. And then the Canva scaler setting it with uh, scale with screen size. And now uh, here is uh, just an empty image. Here we can control the color of the image. Um, and then inside it we have uh, our uh, input fields. Uh, here we have the rows, the text and the input field. And the same with the columns, the text and the input. And then here we have our button. Okay, now we're going to create an empty child. We're gonna name it uh, board. And then we're gonna assign horizontal layout group. And here we're gonna set the spacing to 15. And then check the width and the height of control child size. And then inside the board, we're gonna create an empty pair, uh, child. We're gonna name it column. And then we're gonna assign a vertical layout group and set also the spacing to 15 and check the checkboxes okay and then we're gonna drag and drop here to make it as a prefab and then let's delete this one we're gonna create another uh, empty child we're gonna name it uh, cell and then we're gonna assign an image and then we're gonna assign the sprite here drag and drop okay and then we're gonna also drag and drop it in here to make it as a prefab okay so now we have two prefabs let's read this one okay now we're going to create a, a script we're gonna name it dynamic layout uh, okay we're gonna use the uh, unity engine.ui and then here let's delete this one and then create a header uh, text fields let's say and then we're gonna create a, uh, a public text we're gonna name it uh, uh, number of rows which is the number of rows and the same copy and paste the number of columns is gonna be and then we're gonna create another header we're gonna name it uh, uh, UI Canva uh, and then we're gonna create a, a public uh, rect transform and it's gonna be our UI column panel column and then we're gonna create a, a public game object which is gonna be uh, our cell and then we have a public uh, transform it's gonna be the board okay and now uh, we're gonna create uh, two private integers row size let's say and column size okay now we're gonna create uh, a method called initialize and uh, uh, we're gonna assign uh, the row size uh, first we're gonna check if the number of rows text is uh, empty if it's not empty, uh, then we're going to convert the text into an integer. Uh, else, it's going to be 4 by default. So here we're we'll checking if the number of row text is empty. If it's not empty, we're going to convert it into an integer. Else, we're going to uh, set it to, to 4. We're going to do the same thing uh, for the column, but we're just going to change the variable name. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, and then now we're gonna create another method uh, it should be public uh, it's gonna be generate board uh, and then here uh, we're gonna call rect uh, transform uh, a column parent let's say and then a for loop where we're gonna initialize the column index to zero and it should be uh, less than uh, column size and then increment it and then here uh, we're gonna in initiate the 
panel column uh, inside the, the board parent. So basically we, we are instantiating the column uh, inside the, the board parent. And then we're going to create another for loop. It's going to be for the row. We're going to do the same thing. Initialize it to zero. And then it should be less than row size. And increment it. And then here we're going to instantiate the cell. And it should be inside the column parent. Okay, now we're going to create another method. Where we're going to clear the board. Okay. We're going to call a for loop. Uh, I and should be less than uh, board uh, children and we're going to destroy all the children inside the board so the clear board uh, we're going to call it inside the generate board and then the initialize so let's save the script now we're going to assign the script to the table generator and then we can assign uh, the text fields. Here should be the text of the input fields. Make sure. And the panel column is going to be the prefab column. And the cell is going to be the prefab cell. And the board it's going to be uh, the board game object. Now uh, in the button, we're going to assign a cl on, on click event. We're going to assign the table generator. And then let's go to dynamic layout and then generate board. Okay, now let's hit play. Let's see. So let's type the number of row and column. Then we're gonna generate. You can see it's a uh, small, so we're gonna increase the size of it. Uh, let's position it correctly. Okay. Okay. And then uh, we're going to copy the component values and then we're going to paste it. Okay, now let's hit play. So this is much better, but as you can see, uh, each cell uh, is stretching as you can see, depending on the number of co uh, rows and columns and it's not very nice. Yeah, so to fix that, uh, we're going to go to the cell prefab and we're going to assign uh, a component named uh, aspect ratio fitter, change it to height control width and to 1. And then let's hit play. Uh, now, as you can see, it's much better. It's, it's no longer stretching. And uh, yeah. Uh, we can also change the spacing if you want on here the amount of space each cell uh, you want to have and here the amount of space each column as you can see so yeah thank you guys uh, for watching